we would like to thank all of our generous sponsors, donors, and supporters that made EPAC's 2021 season possible, especially our 2021 season sponsors 1234 Microtechnologies and Clark Associates. The 2021 season is also made possible by generous grants from the Ephrata Borough, the Irene R. Weidman Charitable Trust, and the Anne Brosman Swigert Charitable Foundation. I'm Edward Fernandez, the Artistic Director of the EFTA Performing Arts Center, and I want to welcome you all to our 2021 season preview. And we are honored to be filming this event in this beautiful environment, which is David Lyle's Home in Design. So we want to thank Mr. David Lyle for letting us film our season preview in his beautiful showroom. This year, our season preview isn't the only thing that's going to be different from the past. Our season itself is going to be very different in the sense that we are starting our season with streaming only under the banner of EPAC at Home. The first two shows, Lady Day and Emerson's Bar and Grill, and The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime will be streamed only productions. As the season goes on, we'll be offering some productions live and streaming simultaneously. Anything can happen, can it, Jimmy? We're gonna be arrested when the wagon comes. Give me a pig foot and a bottle of beer. Our first production of the year, which will be streamed only, is Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill, which is a recreation of one of Billie Holiday's last public performances. It's an incredible show with a great leading actress, Yolanda London Dwyer, who turns in a magnificent performance as Billie Holiday. In fact, we just finished uh, filming this week and it went absolutely fantastic and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I want a pink foot. The second show in our season, which is also stream only, is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. What's interesting about this is that this was the show that was just about ready to open when we had to close the theater due to COVID. So we've been waiting a whole year to bring this show to you. So now it will be streamed into your home. It's an absolutely wonderful play about a young boy suffering from autism who starts to investigate the death of a neighbor's dog. Part comedy, part drama, and part mystery. It's an absolutely thrilling piece of modern theater, and we cannot wait to bring it into your home. You are now gonna see Mr. Ben Galassi doing a scene from The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. When you look up at the sky at night, you know that you are looking at stars which are hundreds and thousands of light years away from you. And some of the stars don't exist anymore because their light has taken so long to reach us that they have already died or they have exploded and collapsed into red dwarfs. And that makes you feel very small. 
So if you have difficult things in your life, it is nice to think that they are what is called negligible, which means that they are so small that you don't have to take them into account when calculating something. I can't see any stars here. It's because of the light pollution in London. All the light from the street lights and floodlights and car headlights and lights from the buildings reflects off of tiny particles in the atmosphere which gets in the way of the light from the stars. Didn't I see you in Epac's production of Evil Dead the Musical? Great performance. Our next show is going to be the modern zany crazy musical comedy hit, Something Rotten. Uh, I tend to think of this show as a combination of the producers and Spamalot. If the producers and Spamalot had a love child, it would be Something Rotten. So if you like either of those shows, you're gonna love Something Rotten. Our next show will be Mark Crowley's groundbreaking comedy drama, The Boys in the Band. We did a stage reading of this show in 2019. It was a one night only st stage reading in the Queer Voices Festival. And the stage reading was so popular, we decided to mount the full production the following year. Well, you all know what happened, so we couldn't. So we're gonna bring it to you this year. So now please enjoy a clip from that one night stage reading of Boys in the Band. Oh, by the way, almost everyone in the original cast of that reading will be back to do it on main stage. So uh, here's the clip. 
you're going to enjoy this. You come here often? Are you suddenly ashamed of your friends? <laughs> um, you are the only person I know of whom I am truly ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have, Henry? A pink lady. <laughs> a vodka martini on the rocks. Please. Well, let's just hope. Lunch tomorrow will be great. One o'clock in the oak room at the plaza. Oh, did you run any new libraries uh, lately? Uh, oh. One or three. I did the complete works of Doris Lessing this week. <sighs> I've been depressed. Alan, forget it, will you? Right. You must not work the lending desk anymore. Oh, I'm still there every day. Well, since I moved, uh, I only come in Saturday evening. So. Uh, it looks like you stuck up for the week. <laughs> Are you kidding? That'll last him two days. It would last me two years. I still haven't finished Atlas Shrug, which I started in 1912. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harold. Happy birthday to you. Big Summer Musical in 2021 is going to be the Broadway hit Matilda, based on the book by Raoul Dahl. It's a wonderful show and it is going to be a great summer show for the entire family. Now, Myra Burdick will sing a couple of selections from Matilda the Musical. Enjoy.
our fall play this year is going to be a play that I have wanted to direct for years and years. It is one of my favorite plays from the classical theater repertory, Hendrik Ibsen's Hedda Gabler, a very, very powerful play. And now to tell you some more about Hedda Gabler is Hedda Gabler herself, or should I say the actress who will be playing Hedda Gabler, Christy Olinger. It wouldn't be EPAC without bringing back one of the classics. Written by world-renowned playwright Heinrich Ibsen in 1890, Hedda Gabler is a shining example of realism and 19th century drama. While adjusting to newly married life, Hedda fights to suppress her true nature and abide by the rules of the society in which she lives. I look forward to playing the title role of Hedda with a remarkable cast, including Preston Schreffler, Timothy Riggs, and Elizabeth Patey. If you enjoy stories about passionate, strong-willed and intelligent women, well then, Hedda Gabler is definitely a show you want to see. Running September 2nd through September 11th. For our October musical, we are going to present a musical that's perfect for the Halloween season. It's a deliciously wicked little musical called a Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. And it's about, well, love and murder. Have you heard of the Die Squith family? Well, then you've heard of Highhurst Castle. You're aware then of their position, their vast wealth and influence. You're a Dysquith. Oh, the Dysquith blood is flowing through you. You're a Dysquith, a genuine bona fide Dysquith. Of course, of course, you don't believe me, do you? princess in every way, the daughter of Lord Maximilian. Till she met your father one fightful day, she knew it was love, and yet the family declared she'd been led astray by a climbing, conniving Castilian. Let him go, or else you'll know, or life you will live to regret. This was no idle threat. You're a dice with. You're a perfectly breedable dice with. And a dice with does her duty, don't forget. Well, there was nothing your mother could say. She eloped with your father the very next day. promise I'd never tell. But now she is no longer living. She wanted to spare you her private hell, but I think you deserve to know. Take this knowledge and use it well. The family may yet be forgiving. This will guarantee you've a right to be on the family tree, and it seems to me indisputably head to toe. I don't understand the poor. No, I don't understand the poor. The lives they lead of want and need. I should think it would be a poor. Be nothing but stubbornness. What's all the suffering for? To be so debased is a terrible taste. I don't understand the poor. I don't understand the poor. And they're constantly turning out more. They refuse to ring scum and Christian down is disgorging its young by the score. I suppose there are some with ambition, say the pinpocket beggar or more. From what I can tell, they do it quite well. They're rising above and it's work they love. But I don't understand the poor. Where's the dignity? Where's the dignity? 
is the pride, the ignominity. Putting the lame in the hall to side, why accept charity? I am perplexed by the gratitude. I contend we extend them too much latitude. My tenants are no excuse. At Christmas I give them a goose. Where's the integrity? Where's the gratitude? I tend to understand the poor. How I long for the days of yore. A dark in your door, that I march in every Tuesday with a sickening, beginning war. My clutter and trample set an example. We teach them to read, but do they succeed when they're hungry and frail? We feed them in jail. We send them off to war. I don't understand. I'm not being grand. I don't understand the poor. I don't understand. In 2018, EPAC presented a run of Hedwig and the Angry Inch, which was incredibly popular. So popular, in fact, we are bringing it back for the 2021 season. But uh, we're only going to be doing it for three performances, one on Friday and two on Saturday on Halloween weekend. So get your tickets for this event fast when they go on sale because I have a feeling it's gonna be sold out pretty fast. Coming back to perform in Hedwig and the Angry Inch are the two actors that caused such a sensation when we did it, Xander Gahn and Elizabeth Chen. <laughs> To bring the 2021 season to a close, EPAC is proud to present the dramatic, moving musical that everybody loves, Les Miserables. This Les Miserables, though, is going to be a little bit different from the regular Les Miserables, so to speak. This is going to be Les Miserables School Edition. And all that means, it's the exact same show you have seen but the entire cast consists of young artists, 18 years of age and under. We're very excited about this because we feel not only is this a great way to present to you this world loved musical, but at the same time, it's a way to showcase the many, many extraordinary talented local young performers. We are very excited about this endeavor and we hope you are too.
summer's day, one by one, how soon they fly, on and on, and I am old, and will be gone, bring him peace, bring him joy. Thank you so much for watching our season preview for the 2021 season. Before we go, however, I just want to say a few words about this coming season as far as ticket sales. If you stream a show, it's unlimited. You don't have to worry about seating. You don't have to worry about a, a finite number of tickets on sale. We can sell as many tickets as, as are purchased. However, if you decide to come to a live performance, which I hope you do, Please be aware that due to COVID restrictions, there will be a lot less seats available than usual. So if you're interested in any of these wonderful shows, and I hope you are, I would suggest buying your tickets as soon as they go on sale. I cannot tell you how excited everybody at the Effort of Performing Arts Center is, including myself, my entire staff, my entire board of directors, and all the incredibly, wonderfully talented actors, singers, dancers, designers, musicians. How excited all of us are to bring you theater again in any form. We have been so hungry to perform for you and to connect with you as artists. So that being said, I really hope I see you at EPAC this year. Until then, stay healthy and stay well, and I'll see you at EPAC. I don't know what the f I did, but there it was.